Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. Also Pisces Venus. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today I am here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Pisces who are watching. So if you have Pisces as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. Your person Pisces is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do get started, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for the sign of Pisces, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. And with that being said, Pisces, we're going to go ahead and begin your reading. First, what I'm going to start out with is some of my specific channel messages for you all. So let's go ahead and get started. Can we please receive a few specific messages from my Pisces? What energy is making its way towards Pisces, please, when it comes to this person that they're dealing with? Who's this person that Pisces is dealing with currently? And how do they truly feel towards Pisces, please? Let's receive two more messages to begin with. Alright, Pisces. So, a couple cards came out. I'm going to take this one, and I will also read these two as extra messages so let's keep what we have right there we have i'm hiding my feelings for you because once i let them out things will get real and i'm afraid to make the first step because of what could go wrong so i'll refer back to these messages if needed i'm going to go ahead and put them back on the top but before I do officially begin, please keep in mind that any energy, feelings, emotions, actions that I do describe from your person, that could be how you feel the roles, could be reversed, just however this reading resonates for you. Please only take what resonates out of this reading. All right, so we have your silence says a lot. I know I'm confusing. I'm still figuring myself out. It's hard for me to believe in love. It's never consistent. You're everything I want in a person. Why would I leave? Confirmation is coming. And we have you plus me, infinity. There's no limits. Okay, Pisces, I do feel like those extra messages I did read out in the beginning do or may resonate with this energy we do have now. I feel like this is a person you already know. I feel like they've kept this connection on hold. And for you, Pisces, it's, it's unclear because... You could tell that they were interested, they were engaging with you, but they started to withhold their energy, so it, it may make you feel like they are playing games, especially if you have reached out, you're waiting on a reply from this person, or you're waiting for their energy to come back in. I, I feel like there was a spark between you two, as just, or just as far as like attraction and also connecting on a level, like... This could be a mental level, mind, body, soul, all three together. So you could be very optimistic still about this person, or at least were optimistic about the, what you were building with them. So the fact that you started to catch feelings for this person, you may still be open to reconciling with them or just hearing out what they have to say. Of course, Pisces, you may have cut this person off already, but I feel like there is potential that you see between the both of you coming together. We have you plus me, infinity. There's no limits. For some of my Pisces, you may have history with this person. But other than that, I feel like this is the potential that you do see between you two. This could also be you and this person having similar values, hobbies even, just really meshing well together. And when two like-minded people come together, things expand, like things flow easier or they have the ability to. So I, I feel like that's what you saw in this person, but it's also like they're turning out to be 
just like the rest, the people from the past, the people who did capture your attention, but they were flaky, or they weren't putting in that same amount of effort. And not even like a 50-50 thing, because when we want something, we go get it. We do our best to have it and make it ours. So it's like you come through with that energy, Pisces, but and people do initially, but it's like they slack off. We have, it's hard for me to believe in love. It's never consistent. I feel like this is your energy, Pisces. Just know that love is within you and it's also around you. Sometimes we just have to be patient and go through experiences that show us what we align with and also what is not meant for us because when something falls short and our needs and our wants aren't being met, that mean that it tells us that this is too little for us. Like we need more and we can have that. So you may feel this way but just know that love is still out there Pisces this one person or this one experience doesn't taint what is meant for you truly so I feel like this is your energy Pisces it's hard for me to believe in love it's never consistent and also with that as far as things coming to an end you may be able to get over things quick more quicker because it's like when you don't hold people up to certain expectations, you're not as disappointed. So I feel like you may resonate with that Pisces. We have your silence says a lot. I feel like this is your energy towards this person. I do feel like they have been silent and that tells you what you need to know. Like who wouldn't wanna interact with you? Who wouldn't wanna exchange communication with you Pisces? So if this person is ignoring you, putting you on the back burner, I feel like that's what you need to know in order to fall back, not not place any more expectations on this person. So your silence says a lot. We have, you're everything I want in a person, why would I leave? So I feel like this could be a mutual energy here. I'm gonna go ahead and get into these extra messages that I did pull in a bit, but I feel like if this person does resurface, it's because of this reason. There's nothing wrong with you, Pisces. They may have a deeper explanation that may or may not make sense to you. It, it may or may not make sense to you, but it also may or may not be acceptable to you as well because I feel like you're in this energy of really protecting what's yours and you're trying your best even if your feelings are already hurt or involved like you're not trying to fall in too deep here so a reason for them to resurface because of just who you are Pisces also if you're giving this person time or you're being patient still awaiting something to happen I feel like it's because of what you see in them and what you want it to be we have confirmation is coming I feel like something significant is making its way towards you Pisces this may be the factor that the factor or that that answer that you were looking for the clarity or clarification and we have I know I'm confusing I'm still figuring myself out so I feel like this is this person's energy when it comes to you Pisces it's like who wouldn't want to be in your life like the love that you give it's they receive it they accept it but when a person does not know what is best for them or what they want for themselves but they know that they they do want to be a part of something, but they're not ready to commit. It's like they'll try to put their foot in the door and make an entrance and then still dismiss themselves. But because it it already started, they feel like they, they could still have a hold or have access to your energy, Pisces. So someone not being able to make up their mind. Then referring back to these extra messages, we have... I'm hiding my feelings for you because once I let them out, things will get real. So this could definitely be be a mutual energy, Pisces. I feel like for you, there, there may be a lot that you want to express to this person as much or as far as how you feel about them. Um, and also how their lack of effort or their negligence affects you. But you may be holding on to how you really feel 
because it's like that feeling if I say this it won't really matter but don't be afraid to use your voice Pisces people like when people mix their energy with yours and when they get something started with you your voice deserves to be heard and of course do what best suits you Pisces but don't hold back especially when it comes to yourself and doing what is needed to make yourself feel better as far as expressing your feelings so I feel like that might resonate for you Pisces as far as this person's energy it's like once they make that real effort towards commitment with you they know that you'll expect more from them and that that's a question to ponder are they really ready for something like this are they ready to consider my emotions as much as I do theirs so could be a maturity thing as well I'm afraid to make the first step because of what could go wrong I also feel like this could be a mutual energy between you two it's like you don't want to put your full energy and also express how you feel because it, it may not lead to anything or this person might not even accept it in the most ideal way for you Pisces as far as this person's energy they could be hesitant to really put their energy out there and commit to this because it's like when you know you're not fully ready for something but you try to make it happen but you're not fully committed you could set yourself up for a messier situation so i'm gonna just leave those two cards at the bottom let's pull three more specific messages for pisces please what else do we need to know here i'm actually gonna pull one more card let's receive one more message for pisces anything else we need to know all right let's take this card and that of course is a message for you we have you're such a beautiful person you're such a beautiful person pisces we also have i never wanted this to feel like we're against each other i'm scared to come back to this what if it's comfort and i know where we stand so don't worry i did do a reading for aquarius they had a similar energy like someone going back and forth playing games so Aquarius could be a relevant sign does not have to be the case um, I do feel like this person got your hopes up or they sent out mixed signals or mixed feelings or they went back on something that they said let's begin with I never wanted this to feel like we're against each other there could be tension between you two or tension that you feel due to this being unresolved and this paints a different person or yeah a different picture of this person for yourself so who did I really share my energy with did they even internalize it to the way that they expressed it to be feeling like you're at a standoff with this person when things could be easier but it's like you're doing it all on your own this is for you Pisces you're such a beautiful person I feel like this is how this person feels about you and some people don't know how to treat beautiful things in their life unfortunately I know where we stand so don't worry I feel like this person has been treating this connection like this but they it's like they're failing to address that your feelings and emotions are actually involved in this as well you can't just come back and forth even if you have this grand idea of us working out in the end what you're showing me now will tell me more about yourself and I'm scared to come back to this what if it's comfort your energy Pisces this person is trying to fix things or reconcile with you I feel like you know your idea of what this could be but you also know what you've been shown so you don't want any temporary satisfaction let's see what situations oracle cards we have can we please get a few cards for my Pisces, please? First card we have is Drama Queen, Thirsty Causing Chaos. Let's receive another card for my Pisces. What else do we need to know here? We have Divine Feminine. We'll go ahead and take that card as well. One more card for Pisces, please. 
Okay, we have wish, hope, praying, yearning. So let's start with this drama queen card. We have thirsting, causing chaos. I feel like the energy of this connection was disrupted by drama, like things that you weren't trying to let come into this connection, but some way they found their way in. And it could also just be playing the games, like this person going back and forth, like making things confusing for you, Pisces. That's something you wanted to avoid. I feel like you're protecting your divine feminine energy. I do feel like you've put your energy out there and you're not chasing this person. You may be wishing for this to work out as far as like manifesting this or hope, praying, yearning that this does work out in the end. But I feel like you're, you're nurturing yourself at this time. All right, let's see what sign you might be dealing with, Pisces. Can we please receive a sign for Pisces? We have Cancer. We also have Leo. One more sign for Pisces, please. And Libra. All right, Pisces, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.